Hi, Kobobo. Welcome in. Not me forgetting to unmute literally every time I stream. But hello. Hi, Pride. Welcome in. Oh my god, the deepest of darkest secrets? Yes. Hashtag real. Hashtag not clickbait, everybody. But hi, hacker. Welcome in. Welcome in. Guys, new tweet. Go like it. New tweet. Exclamation Twitter in chat. Can we hit a million Twitter followers today? Well, You're so stupid. <laughs> what is that? That was bad. Don't do that. But thank you for the resub with Prime. Holy moly! <laughs> thank you, Mac. Can we get some wax in chat? <laughs> I think I should like. Sorry, I'm talking really loud. I think I should like decrease the character limit. <laughs> so stupid. Thank you for the lurk crystal and hi. Hello. Chatters, any more primers? Did someone say not clickbait? Yeah, hashtag real, hashtag not clickbait. So are you just like saving your prime sub, Kobobo? Like you should give it to somebody else. I know Scootish does a little dance. Oh wait, Keelan, do you have the third party extensions like 7TV? Because I know 7TV like messed up. So I I downloaded the previous version of 7TV. Because the new version is ass. And there's you have to like download it from a back end way. You can't just download it from that. Oh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, what I did is I just, um, what you call it? I just googled the previous version number and then I downloaded a zip file and then I had to install it in my Chrome browser. It felt very sketchy, but I should be safe, right? I'm not gonna get hacked. Don't worry, I have, um, malware shit enabled. What's it called? Antivirus? I do wear protection. Anyway. <laughs> Guys, a minute 30 left. Okay, question. When you guys go grocery shopping, does anybody buy coconut water? Because I went to the Asian store and they had like a 20 ounce carton for $2. And when I go to like any other like American grocery store, it's like six, seven dollars almost. So I bought like four of those mother frickers. I almost said a bad word. <laughs> What's the plan today? Read the title. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just drink normal water. I do too, but you know, coconut water is a little treat. It's not even that like much healthier for you. It just has like more vitamins. Now, we're doing Mario Kart and then probably Animal Crossing. I'm not gonna watch the Breath of the Wild thing because I'm just not gonna play it. Did I miss this month's turn? You know, we're not doing one this month. We're doing it. The next one will be on my birthday. But don't worry, if you have a VIP badge from the tournaments, you will keep it. You don't really like coconut water? I really fresh coconut water one time, and it was not as sweet as I was. As I was as I was expecting it. But you know what? That's A-okay. Because you know what? I'm live. Hello, good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. Um, I was gonna stream yesterday, but I didn't. I don't know if it'll show up on camera. But I went grocery shopping yesterday. And the bags were heavy, so I had blisters all up on my hands. So, 
I didn't paint yesterday, I didn't do play games, but they're basically healed. I only have one sizable blister here, but it's it's Ike. Hi Kim. Oh bye Mac. Jeez, coming in for five minutes and leaving. Typical. But thank you, Mac. Keelan, Kim, Hacker, Kobobo, Pride, and Keelan for chatting in the Just Start Soon screen. Thank you guys for chatting. And Crystal. I did not forget. Um, what's the plan for today? I can't even hear the freaking game. <laughs> POV, you're my TV. <laughs> Imagine choosing class over us. I know, right? I'm on spring break, so I have this whole week off of school. And my classes resume on Monday. So I got a whole week, everybody. Um, doesn't mean I'm gonna be streaming anymore, because this week I'm focusing on... I got a printer. I got a used printer. So now I can print off, like, invoices and order tickets and labels so I don't have to go to the post office to buy labels. If you don't know what I'm talking about, my art channel, it's tagged in the title. Um, follow the art social media as well. Website is launching in April, so I'm just getting ready for all that jazz. Thank you for redeeming pride. I will do that the, at the end of stream. Yours is next week? Oh yeah, because April Fool's is Saturday, right? Because I feel like most spring break, they just take Saturday off, because I feel like <laughs> the teachers are scared they're gonna get pranked. I, I can't remember if there was any spring break where we had school on April 1st. Sorry, my voice is really soft today. I have no idea why. I'm tr Okay, I'm trying to like look at the camera more when I stream, but it's still like kind of weird. Because my stream setup is camera there, right? OBS here and the chat here. That's why you see me like Looking back and forth, because I'm always like paranoid that like OBS is gonna shit itself. Am I gonna watch the new Mario movie? Yes, I'm probably gonna see it not opening. I am actually so mad at my sis. I, okay, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Because you know how they had like the promotion if you buy opening day tickets, you get like a free poster or something? So my sister saw that at like 9 p.m. So she texted me at like 10 p.m. when she, she was like, do you want to see the movie in 3D? But I was sleeping, so I didn't get the text till the morning. So the next morning, I was like, I guess not. I don't know. Because, you know, when you have glasses, you it's hard to see 3D movies, right? So she bought tickets for opening night with for herself and our roommate, but not for me. <laughs> so, kind of rude, not going to lie. So she and I are probably going to see it the opening weekend. Because she's been working a lot, so... Yeah, but I am so excited. Please, since I'm not watching an opening weekend, nobody spoil. Spoil equals ban. From the R channel, not this channel, because this has um, subscribers. <laughs> 3D movies with glasses are dumb. Wait. I think the only movie I saw in 3D was Tangled, but I saw that when I was in, like, fourth grade, so I didn't have glasses then. She's gonna watch it twice? Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, I feel like with any animated movie, it's it's nice to watch it several times. Because there's always going to be so many Easter eggs, especially with, like, Illumination. There's always little things you'll see in the background, little characters you might not notice. Prime example is the Minion movie. Not saying that I've watched it several times when I used to babysit um, the kid. She used to like the Minion movie, so I would watch it, like, every few weeks. So, there's going to be tons of Easter eggs. I know, especially with, like, the Nintendo IP, it's going to go crazy. Hopefully your sister doesn't spoil. No, she's not crazy. She she will respect that. She's not insane. <laughs> oh, I have coconut water today. Also, I did my nails yesterday. Nothing crazy. But it's like a black chrome. It has... You can't see it on camera. It only shows on, like, yellow light. But it has, like, rainbow chrome and then silver flakes. That's why I look super metallic. Hashtag not sponsored. But follow Taco. Um, anything before we get started with some Mario Kart? Yes, the title is real. I'm spilling all my guts today. Um, you milked a coconut? No, I didn't. I need to... Whenever I have an intrusive thought, I need to, one, not say I'm gonna say something. And two, not make a facial expression. B? 
Thank you for that resub, Deacon. Thank you. Thank you. Nine months? Wait. Deacon, do you have a flower badge now? Holy. Tap in chat so you can see your new badge. But thank you. And another primer? Holy moly. But thank you. Can we get some weekends? Our second sub today. Holy. How big is your holo collection? You do? Dude, another sunflower badge in chat. I need to figure out what badge we need to do after the sunflower. Because I don't want it to be more flowers. I want it to be like something weird. That way we all the like two-year subs stand out. Or one and a half year subs stand out. Um, I have... I don't know how many holo polishes I have. I think I bought like four collections. And each collection is five to six. So I probably have like 20, 25 bottles. And I've used most of them. <clears throat> I usually don't do the darker colors though. I like the lighter ones. But thank you, Deacon. You will get your net right... Name written at the end of stream. Um, last thing, just a gentle reminder. It is March 28th, so there are only a few days left to be eligible for a portrait sketch card. If you give five subs by the end of the month, you will get a custom portrait card drawn. Something like this. And I will be able to mail these out to people in April. So look forward to that. So if you've gotten a sketch card in the past, you will get it mailed out to you in April. And from that point on, I'll be mailing out physical sketch cards every other month. So yeah. All right now, we have Kobobo, Keelan, Titans, and Mac eligible. So if you want a sketch card for yourself, make sure you get five subs by the end of the month. You've been following since the 24th of May? That's almost a year. Holy. Talking about a year. It's been a while since we played Mario Kart. Like, what, a week? Okay, I need to practice the new tracks. I actually need to practice. I was playing online earlier. And look, real viewers know, because can anybody see the difference in my build? If anybody guesses, you will get a high five. <laughs> Let's go. I'm going to try Rosalita today, because isn't that like the new best character? But I still have, like, the inside drift bike. The wheels? Yes, I changed the wheels. Because I think... It's the Azure... Wait, are they literally the same wheels? Wait, are they actually the same, just a different color? Wait, let me look at the, like, threading. Wait, the threading is kind of different. That's your build? I'm not copying. Okay, a lot of... I get comments all the time. Shitting on my build, they're like, inside drift skull emoji. Is it an actual, like, horrible vehicle type? I just like it because I, I like the way it handles. I think it's fun. You know what else is fun? <laughs> okay, guys. I need to actually get through my cue card. Because I've had these topics for a month on this cue card. So, also, don't be afraid to ask questions to Amy. I'm gonna spill... All my secrets, you ask anything, I will be truthful and honest. <clears throat> Wait, I chose 150. Yeah, I chose 150 first. Same drill. I'll do 150, then 200 to warm up. I was playing a little bit of offline before I started stream as usual. And I was put into a 200cc lobby for Toad's Harbor, I think. It was insane. <laughs> Because I feel like 200 normally with computers is manageable, but with online, it's crazy. Do you like your chatters? Um, I did say I had to be honest today. And to be honest, yes, I do. It's very rare that I have, like, somebody who annoys me. The only thing that actually annoys me is, like, backseat gaming. Or when people ask the same thing over and over again. Otherwise, you guys are pretty good. You know, you guys try to be funny. You keep it lighthearted. There was one shatter that I absolutely hate. And I will never leak who it is, so you guys can live with that anxiety of thinking that you're actually my least favorite chatter. <laughs> but thank you, Hector. <laughs> oh, why the hell? Who is it? No, I'm not I'm never gonna leak. I mean honestly, my least favorite chatter would be somebody who's actually banned. I don't wait. Oh my god, I I should have used it. It's been a long time since I've had to ban a chatter. 
I think the only chatter that I banned, because usually we have like the self promo bots where they're like, spend a million dollars and we'll get you a thousand viewers. I know who it is real, who is it? But I think the only active chatter that I had to ban was somebody with like their GFX account. And they tried to chat normally, but then they were just like, oh, you, I can make you some graphics. And I was like, haha, okay. And then they just never chatted again. And then I just secretly banned them at the end of stream. It's kind of like, why are you wasting your time? Like, if somebody wants to commission art, they would reach out to you. I don't like when artists reach out to randos. <laughs> cough, cough, Dino. I mean, I did ban Dino on the art channel accidentally. <laughs> Just kidding, I would never do it on purpose. Yeah, I agree, Keelan. The new 7TV update is trash. Um, just Google how to download old version of 7TV and you can find it out. I swear to god it was accidentally. If, if you guys could see my stream preview, you would understand what I'm talking about. Because in mod view, since I have... <coughs> or since I use my Twitch mod view to moderate entirely, I don't use any third party, like, Chatterino or anything. You can enable, like... A ban button and then a time up button, but with the Franker Face C settings, I can enable a hover setting to where if I hover my cursor over a message, a little pop up will say timeout or ban. So I just accidentally clicked on the hover mode. I would never ban somebody. Okay, okay. If I ever could ban somebody during a stream, you guys know that I just wouldn't talk about it. The. If somebody gets a timeout, maybe I'll mention it, because sometimes if you are receiving a timeout, you don't necessarily know what you did wrong, so I either will, like, messily say, oh, I will either verbally say, oh, you did this, don't do that again, or I have, like, commands in chat. But if I ever had to ban somebody for somebody doing bad things, I would just do it quietly. Because when you ban somebody in the chat... You don't know if they're gonna, like, become a hate watcher, you know what I mean? So you gotta kinda be... Not nice, but you gotta be civil. You don't wanna, like, clown on them too much. Especially if you're a smaller creator. When you don't necessarily have, like, the audience or the platform who might, like, back you up. Or you don't have the prominence on the platform to where... Like, Twitch will defend you, let's say. Why am I getting so many different items in first? I should be getting coins right now. Yeah. You see, like, I didn't have a command for being too... <laughs> too horny on main. <laughs> That's why I had to say, like, hey, don't do that shit. You would ban me? No, I wouldn't. Um... Honestly, I see Mac as, like... The one parasocial viewer who will hate me in, like, two years when I become famous. So I, I don't know. We'll never know. I mean, Mac, you do have one timeout on this channel, so you're on thin ice. My voice sounds so weird today. The, it sounds like lower pitch to me for some reason. I have no idea. Oh, I've been up since 5 o'clock, I just realized. Because <laughs> I fell asleep watching Ludwig's stream because he's doing his um, annual Ludlock, I think. So I fell asleep with his stream on my TV, and then I woke up at 5, and I was like, oh, I missed his stream! <laughs> yeah, I think Mac wanted to get time out as a joke, but they didn't realize that, that it's real, and it's on their permanent record now. Just like any petty crimes. Do the crime, do the time. <laughs> Imagine being timed out. I think the only time I got timed out in a channel was... Sometimes on like the larger chats they'll have like, um, bots enabled. So like Nightbot or whatever. I think I got timed out for 10 seconds in Hassan's chat for like, putting an emote twice in a row, because that's considered spam. And then, it was in another smaller streamer's chat, they didn't have their, um, Nightbot settings adjusted. So I got timed out for a minute for writing a message in all caps. But otherwise, I haven't said anything, like, derogatory. 
I think that I think the only joke I made that was kind of a bit too edgy, this was in Emmy's channel almost a year ago. And she was, what was she talking about? <laughs> but I think we were just talking about Washington, because she and I both live in Washington State. Um, I have no idea what we were talking about, but we were talking about Washington and I think the weather. And, and then, I think she was talking about like going to like a party or something. And then... I said, oh, we're gonna have a blast when Mount Rainier blows. And then she didn't acknowledge the message. <laughs> because that was a point where Emmy would like literally read every single chat message out loud. So when I saw that she didn't read out that joke, I was like, oh no. I was like, that was a bad one. She didn't like that one. Yeah, I think... The only Automon setting that I have through Twitch that I have that are pretty loose is the cursing. Everything I have, all the other settings I just have at max filtering. Because I'd rather have something get flagged and then help, and then manually approve it, than have like mean words go through and I not, and then I have to delete it. See, why am I getting a triple banana first? I mean, I don't mind not getting coins, it's just weird. <laughs> oh my god! I still don't know what is the best path for this final section. Does the half pipes seem like they just waste time? Wait, Mac, did you enable Lick in your chat room? Please don't tell me you did. <laughs> no. There's a reason why I have Kaka and Booba not enabled in my chat. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's just an anime girl licking. And it's weird. You have Kaka enabled? Why is that not banned from my chat? <laughs> no! God damn it. Like actually focusing because I was like I want to get the secret path and then I threw you made some emotes wait what are you secretly like a GFX channel <laughs> sometimes I wish I could go back in a time where I didn't know these seven TV emotes existed do you mean like you wish that they never existed or that they're way too good? You made some sports emotes? That's- sorry, that's like the cringest shit I've ever heard! This is a gaming website, not a sports website. people initially started doing just chatting or like cooking streams and all the gamers on the platform got really mad they were like all these chefs and just chatters are taking away my viewers but then it's like if your content can't stand on its own or if people don't watch you then maybe it's your fault that's why I get really mad at the people who argue against like the hot tub meta because like I can understand if it's not your type of content, but don't shut them for it, you know? I think people can do whatever they want. Free speech is a lovely thing. Free speech also includes... includes expression. 
So, you know, let people do whatever they want. And ultimately, when there's more variety on the platform, then it's gonna attract new, unique viewers to start watching more content on Twitch, so... Am I ever gonna get a three-star in this pre? One day. Hot tub mode? I'm really living under a rock. Um, <laughs> you don't need to look it up if you don't want to. Let's just say I love Amaranth. Oh my god, she did a stream last night where she was in a pool with a whole bunch of um, celebrities. Holy! <laughs> oh my god. Wait, I got a three star. I did. I actually did. When I <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> anyway, anyway, um, when I first started streaming, because I started streaming in August of twenty one, and that's when like the hot tub meta I think was just about at its peak, if not just past it, and I wanted to do like my second stream ever. Okay, my second stream ever. I wanted to do a a parody of the hot tub meta, but it would just be me in a kitty like plastic pool filled with marbles. But I was still gonna be in a swimsuit. Looking back, that would have been so stupid. My second stream ever, that would not have been good. I would not have had the right audience, is what I'll say. Maybe I'll do that for April Fools. <laughs> I love Mouse <laughs> Tom. We don't talk about my past. But you know what I can talk about? The people who aren't following. If you're new here, click the follow button. You get cool emotes, and you get to type in the chat room. Can we hit our follower goal today, everybody? Oh, I don't have an item. Okay, I think I need to actually practice. That didn't work. You know the trick to where if you spam the item button or left trigger, it'll... Make the item spawn quick in the carousel? It's not working. So like one, two, three, four, five. Oh wait, it did. I'm assuming based on how long you played Mario Kart, you have everything unlocked. I think I did, but when I was looking through the um, wheel accessories this morning, I do have one question mark. So I don't know if it was like a new update or I just didn't unlock it. Because I know I've unlocked all the characters because I have Rose Gold Peach and then Gold Mario. But I don't know how to get the other vehicle customations. Oh, hi, Vora. I didn't see it was you. Hello. Can we get some yos? Oh, those are the golden wheels? How do I get the golden wheels? Fuck! You have to beat all the time trials? I'm never doing that shit. They probably make my bike too heavy anyway, because gold is... heavy. How do you get gold Mario? You need to get gold trophies in every single pre for all the different CCs and... and mirror mode. Will Animal Crossing come back to stream? Yes, it will. I might play it. I might play it today. It depends on how I feel. Because, like, I like Animal Crossing, but... It's kind of like... As with any, like, world-building game, once you complete the main objectives, it's kind of like just maintaining the base. So it's kind of boring, not gonna lie. But I think the one thing I did like about the Animal Crossing streams is that it, it kind of encouraged me to talk more. Wait, I got a comment on TikTok the other day, it was actually really sweet. But it was something along the lines of, you know, I see your clips on TikTok all the time, and honestly, you don't do that well, but it's still fun to watch. Like, you really made me feel like I want to rejoin the gaming space because you make it seem like you don't play to win, you play to have fun. And I was like, nice diss, but thank you. <laughs> I wish I screenshot the comment, because, like, it was actually nice. But it's kind of like when people are either, like, too frank, they may not understand, like, they're kind of dissing you. No, the 200cc ain't too bad. 200cc is only bad on online. If you're playing on with computers, because that's how you get the trophies, it's not that bad. I mean, this is 150cc right now. 
but I'm still learning these tracks, so 200cc will be more difficult. I missed literally all those coins. Wait, how'd he cut me off? See, this this turn right here is extremely difficult in 200. annoys me about my sister is sometimes when we go do errands in public she'll sometimes wear pajamas and I can understand wanting to be comfortable okay I get it but I feel weird whenever I see people in pajamas in public because in other countries that's not like acceptable right you kind of got to make sure you're somewhat like decent but whenever I go out since I don't go out often I usually just do errands I I don't dress up but I still make sure like I have like nicer pants on or like decent leggings, a nicer shirt, or a decent coat. And like sometimes like if I'm going to the mall then I'll look cute just to go to the mall. <laughs> Cause like I don't dress too crazy or too extra but as a girly like don't you feel so nice whenever you get like a compliment from somebody else? Be like oh your shoes are cool or that necklace is nice. It feels really nice to get those compliments, right? So, not that I'm trying to farm compliments, but it just feels nice, you know? Okay, not too bad. <clears throat> oh yeah, you're right, Vora. You can go crazy far with your skips and then the gliders in 200. Hi, Crystal. Yeah, if I went to college every day, I would be dressing up every day. I would be taking on my craziest fits. Hi, Titans. Can we get some yo's, everybody? Go get a snack. My snack today is... Pause! I can't pause! My snack today is banana bread that I made a few weeks ago and then I defrosted. That is my snack. Yeah, Mac looks like they dress really cool. The banana bread is not sweet at all. And I have no idea what I did wrong. Sorry, I'm chewing with my mouth open. <laughs> Ew. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm done. Let me have a slice? No. Even though I have like 20 slices in my freezer. Because nobody else really liked it in the house. So it's all for me, baby. Unsubbing blocked. Okay, I try my best to like politely eat. Because there was one time I had a friend over for dinner, right? And my family, we are too talkative when we eat. And my friend was telling me afterwards. They were like, you know, not to be rude, but... Your whole family chews really loud. And I was like, okay. So ever since then, anytime I eat, I'm always more mindful of like how loud I'm chewing. Not that I'm insecure, I'm just more like... Mindful of it, I guess? Because I was telling my friend about this, right? That they told me that three years ago and I still think it. Think about it three years later. And they were like, did I make you insecure? I'm like, no. Smile. Oh, dodge the fire easy. That drives me insane. Something my sister does too is that whenever she's using a metal utensil, she will bite on the spoon or the fork so it makes this clinking sound. I hate it. It actually makes you angry. Well, I guess we should never get lunch then, Mac. Oh, I was at the store, and they had, like, gold silverware, but it was plastic. And I was like, well, I bet all the girlies love that.
You kick your dad out of the living room and they're not allowed to eat near you? I think that's a bit much, Mac. You know, that's his home. His lazy Susan. Nope, not... Lazy boy? Is that what the chair is called? I think it's lazy boy, right? I almost said big boy, but that's not it. Yeah, I know the Lazy Susan is a turntable. We used to have one for, like, a spice rack at home. I think the chair is called a Lazy Boy, right? Oh, please don't do this to me now. Spring Break is so cool. Are you gonna be doing anything? Anybody have plans? I'm planning on streaming every day 24 hours during Spring Break. It started yesterday. Wait, I'm on track to get a three star. Holy. Oh, wait. I think I have three stars and 150, but not 200 yet. Sad. You're gonna be in Chicago? Nice. <gasps> Thank you, Titans, for a gifted sub. Thank you. Can we get some whites in the chat? Thank you! Oh wait, did we get our sub goal? Ain't no way! Thank you! Oh, that means shit. <laughs> I mean, yay! We get to do a bonus stream tonight! Yay! That's so cool! <laughs> okay. Yeah, bonus sub goal today. Stream. Yeah, I think the Waluigi pinball map goes crazy. Language? Wait, did I see... Did I say the F word? I'm, I'm just cutting back. I'm not removing it from my vocabulary yet. Um, but Titan, since you helped hit the sub goal, would you rather have a X word? I can say shit. Yeah, wait. This is a fully cursing stream. I'm not doing a no cursing stream yet. I will do another no cursing challenge stream again, I promise. When Meg Esports can afford it, I will. PG-13 chat. They don't even censor ass on television, so I think I, I can say shit. Anyway, anyway. Titans, would you rather have a sub Would you rather have a sub-only Stardew Valley stream or... Or Art Channel Calligraphy today? Pick one. Oh my god, hi, Tina. Your name is Tina, right? Once. Oh, it is Tina. See, I remembered. I remembered. Stardew Valley? Okay, we'll do Stardew Valley later today. But hi, Tina. I'm actually trying. See, I remember my chatters. Wait, I'm in third? I mean, if you want to keep distracting me from playing the game, just keep gifting. Easy. Okay, got it, I know. Don't you dare throw it behind you. <laughs> he missed. Saved. Saved. A okay, new sub goal, everybody. We'll do 45. But we still will do a bonus stream because we had three subs today. I'm waiting for somebody to ask what is actually your deepest darkest secret no one's asked that yet I'm waiting maybe I'll leak maybe I won't oh it's time for 200 CC now isn't it another three-star baby okay. 
have some crazy secrets? Me too. But some I actually can't leak. One of which was I banged a celebrity. <laughs> That's not real. <laughs> Wait, imagine. <laughs> are your roommates real? Yes, they are real. They're very real. Why would I lie about having a sister? Don't you love when your secrets are so bad you can't even tell your friends? Dude, too real. Too real. Okay, 200 CC, everybody. My address? No! Mods. Twitch staff. Watch Titans. I have some- Oh, I feel that, Mac. Wait, let me- Let me dive into that topic a little bit more. <laughs> Watch me. I can actually make you a monitor user to where- any message you type has to get manually approved. I can do that. <laughs> SS number? No. No. No, no. I don't even- Okay. I don't even have it memorized. So if I was taken and they were like, What is your number? I'd be like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, wait. This is 200. Okay. Oh, no. This is way too fast. I have some stuff I'm scared to tell my therapist. I fully understand that sentiment, and I think every therapist knows that it will take a while for any client they have to get fully comfortable with them. So don't feel like you need to share things right off the bat. Because I know for me, uh, I was in a six month program and it took it took about two, three months for me to share some like deeper stuff related to like trauma <laughs> and the like. So. Only share what you feel is comfortable, and if you don't feel comfortable after, I would say, like, three to four months, then don't worry. Like, there's always other doctors and therapists you can get assigned to. I know certain therapists have certain experiences with different traumas. So don't be scared. Not don't be scared to share, just don't feel too discouraged if you don't feel comfortable sharing with the next amount of time. Peason is a recovering alcoholic confirmed. I've literally never had alcohol. Why are you slandering me? I have never. I have never had alcohol. I've been offered countless times. But I'm just like, nah. I might try it at some point. You know, I'm almost 24, so I might as well. But I am not an alcoholic. The only addiction I have is sugar. Oh my god, I'm actually so bad. I had like a whole mini carton of ice cream yesterday. Like a, what's it called? How big was it? Like this big? Like a, not 16 ounce, bro, but like a 14 ounce tub. And I ate it all. And it was worth 150% of my daily sugar. So I should not have eaten that much. <laughs> I went to therapy for a week to complain about being sent to therapy. <laughs> we hate the mandatory referrals. Love me some drugs. No, I hate drugs. I can't steal my social security if I don't have one. You're from the EU. That doesn't count. That does not count. <laughs> Ice cream is my main way of coping. See, I used to do that too. Because I think, like three years ago, I would go to the grocery store, buy a tub of ice cream, and I would have like a little 8 ounce cup of it every day. I wouldn't eat straight from the tub because, you know, that's toxic and then it's very hard to portion control. But when I was little, I used to sneak little sweets and treats. I used to literally sneak sprinkles and frosting from the tub at night because I just- I love that sugar. I love being zooted on sugar. And even now, I'm trying not to use food as a coping mechanism because I found the reason why I like food a lot is it, I like the sensation of like tasting something. Like one of the grounding techniques I learned is when you're kind of spiraling or freaking out, what you can do is observe everything from every one of your senses. So find something you see, find something you taste, you can smell and touch. And when it comes to taste, something that my therapist said I could do is like, you know, picture what your mouth tastes like. She's like, did you, can you taste the toothpaste from this morning? Or can you taste the leftover food? So whenever I start spiraling now, I literally just run my tongue along the roof of my mouth and that kind of calms me down. Because you know how when you do that, it kind of tickles? Everybody do it right now in the chat. Everybody put your tongue on the roof of your mouth. It kind of tickles. 
and it's a very like overwhelming sensation so like if I'm in the grocery store and I can't like do anything that will cause attention I'll just lick the top of my mouth and then I feel fine sorry I missed so much a chat <laughs> I enjoy therapy weirdly that's great Mac that's great I hate that feeling but it distracts you that's why it works Oh, I've never had a sad music playlist. Because I know once I do that, I'm not going to get better. I don't like... Ooh. I don't like wallowing in sadness. Because if I ever get in those moods, I stay in those moods for like a few days. So I just don't... Whenever I get sad, I don't like entertaining it too much. Like, I'll cry for an hour and then I'm f fine. I don't know. Feeling bad for myself is one secret talent. See, I can't do that. I just never feel bad for myself. I just think I deserve everything. It, it, it's especially weird now. Because most chatters know I I essentially have like a... It's a rare disease with my brain. Um, and I also have spinal issues. I can't necessarily talk about it yet because I don't have a diagnosis. But um, I'm in the process of figuring out what exactly is wrong. But if my doctors are, like, making assumptions correctly, or not correctly, but based on their assumptions, the shit that's wrong with my spine is... Because what constitutes a rare disease is if less than, ooh, less than 200,000 people within the states have it. Because when I initially started going to the doctor, I thought I had MS, but I don't, because MS is characterized by, like, nerve issues in your brain, but I don't have that. I just have a big brain. And then spinal issues that are unconfirmed yet. Um, but for the big brain thing, about 300,000 people in the states have it, so it's still considered common. There's a million people in the U.S. who have MS, so MS is very common, which I didn't realize, even though it's like a 0.5% of the population have it, but that's still a million, because there's 330 million people in the U.S. But what my spine shit, yeah, big ass brain. <laughs> Um, with the spine shit, if the disease I think I have is what I think I have, only literally 0.008% of the U.S. population has it, about 30,000 people have it, so I just wish, I just wish I found out about my, um, disease when I was a kid, because I, I could have been a Make-A-Wish kid. I could have, like, wanted to meet Markiplier for my Make-A-Wish. But Make-A-Wish is only for less than 18, so... Guys, I can't be Mark Kapiller. I'm sad. So anyway. Um, because statistically, about 10% of the US population has some form of disease. So basically, 10% is disabled. And I'm one of them! <laughs> Could've been a son. Dude, imagine! I would lose my mind. Wait! Because I know some people have used, like, meeting Mizkiff as their Make-A-Wish. I don't think anybody has been to Hassan. Uh, honestly, I would use it to meet Hassan. <laughs> I'm his biggest fan, right? Okay, I'm not even trying. I need to try it. I need to genuinely practice this one. Oh, easy! He's low-key fine, yeah. Loki high key. But you know, itemizing streamers is bad and toxic, so I, I do I just don't entertain those thoughts. Come on, get her. Ah, oh, damn. Have you talked about the restrict act yet? Um what is that? Do you mean the TikTok shit? I think the main consensus is that the proposition of banning TikTok inherently is xenophobic because, you know, America is just anti-China. And the only reason why they're targeting TikTok is because it's for a younger audience and then also it's from China. <laughs> um, oh my god, hi Matt. Can we get some peace out to you? Yo's, hello. Welcome in, man. Um, but if there is legislation passed 
Because the only way to ban, because they can't ban the app, they have to make legislation that'll justify banning the app. So if they pass that legislation, it's going to lead to a drastic change in every single social media platform and how it functions and how data is collected and used. The only reason why they're targeting TikTok specifically, if you're looking at it from like a capitalist point of view, is that they see it as like a non-domestic company profiting off of gathering in information from like United States citizens. So it's kind of like stopping the competition. It's creating more monopolies. I went to PAX last weekend. Did you see any good games? I've never gone to a games convention. I've only gone to a. I went to Rose City Comic Con, and they had a lot of nerd shit. I've always wanted to go to a gaming convention, though. Best experience you've ever had? Should I go next year to have one? There are so many more important and worrying things going on in the States than TikTok. That is a very, like, lib take. But it's a very true take. Should we talk about gun control, everybody? Should we open that can of worms? Wait, what did I get? Oh, two star, come on! Oh my god. Yeah, I saw they had a marker tournament at the PAX thing. Do you think I would have won? No next topic, can we not? Can we just say guns are bad? And people are bad, but if you take the guns away, the bad people can't kill people with guns. Controversial, but true. Anyway, let's play some... Wait, let's do one regular pre with 200. That way I can actually show you how good I am. Yep, yep. What if we just have some, like, secret, like, NRA fan in the chat and they just lose their minds one day? Guys, I'm a socialist. If you don't like that, leave. <laughs> I never play as Lakitu. Wait. Doesn't Lakitu save us? Okay, let's do a pre that I'm actually good at. I'm decent at these tracks. Let's do this one. I'm a contrarian. I, I'm also a contrarian, and I hate myself for that. Politics will be banned in my chat? Well, I guess I'll never type then, because I love politics. I'm a Hassan fan. What else would I talk about? Anyway, let's not talk about it. <laughs> I think... I think it's very unfortunate. The, the last thing I will say about, like, current events... You don't like Hassan? We can't be friends. I think the unfortunate reality... Is that whenever there's like a mass casualty event or global health issue, right? Then it becomes part of. Uh, be God, sorry, I need to like think about what I'm saying. Whenever there's a mass casualty event or a life altering event, so like the train crashes, spillages, or accidents in factories are recent examples. It becomes part of the public eye. But what a lot of people don't realize is that those happen relatively common. So just because it happened last week doesn't mean it hasn't been happening for years. The media's job is to change your attention and where you want it to focus on, right? So I think it's best to still advocate for policies and ideas all the time you don't necessarily need to be vocal about it because uh, obviously it's going to be more topical if you talk about things as they happen. But you should always still, like between your friends, your family, you can always talk about things normally, but you should still advocate for policies that will help prevent those events from happening in the future. Big streamers have big heads, true. There are a lot of streamers I seriously dislike. Me too, but I think the big reason why is because when you stream, you're in your own little bubble. You only have viewers, typically, who enjoy you and your content. So it's very easy to not see the criticism. And I'm not saying that you should go into your least favorite streamer's chat and, like, grill them or roast them. Because you're obviously probably going to get banned. But you should still be mindful of their opinions. 
There we go, I got first. Mizkif is alright. I think he's entertaining, but morally, maybe not a good example sometimes. I think speed is way too young. When you have that much platform and popularity when you're still developing, it's it's hard to not be more forgiving towards them. It's kind of like when the little YouTubers pop off. Speed is way too young. All these streamers name and I'm just clueless. <laughs> yeah, if you don't like consume a lot of shoe content, it's kind of like easy to forget or not realize how popular some figures are. Like I'll talk to my like friend about streaming or like streamers in general and they have no clue what I'm talking about. The only streamer they know is Moist Critical and Asmongold, but that's only because he watches their YouTube. I think what's important when looking at popular figures, especially online personalities, is they're still people. And as long as they're not doing like things intentionally malicious or things that are like bigoted or hateful, then you should be a bit more forgiving towards them. Obviously still criticize them to some degree. But it's not like they're doing actual crimes. Oh yeah, Sneak was bad. Sneak was very bad. I think we can all agree that Sneak was bad. Yeah, Ludwig is pretty good. I still- because he was the first streamer I ever like sat down and watched. And he still seems pretty genuine for the most part. You don't find Ludwig funny? Mods banned Crystal, seriously. No, th that's because like Ludwig is the type of- he's, his commentary is more like gimmicky, right? This <laughs> Nico sits in the corner. <laughs> Sneak was banned from TikTok? Ain't no way. No one should like Aiden. I think there was a time in which Aiden Ross was, was redeemable, but I think he's kind of past that point. Especially with the type of content he's doing recently, nobody say what it is. But when he knows that he has like a younger- I got sniped. When he knows that he has like a younger audience, it just seems literally and figuratively gross what he is, his type of content is becoming. Oh, I didn't know I could trick off of that. Anyway, let's not farm drama. Drama is not secrets, everybody. First, easy. You know what else is easy? Subscribing. Because, everybody, we are an hour into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. So... You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have Prime sub available. Any primers? Any gifters? <coughs> get some money, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. It's just famous people having too much influence. I think it's also in turn people who don't know how to manage the platform properly. Um. Like, I don't think that streamers should have, like, a PR team, but you should know basic, like, social etiquette, basic, like, how to conduct yourself. I think that is one of the main issues, because with streaming especially, um, since all of your viewers, for the most part, like you, and will most likely defend you, you know, no matter what you do, it's very easy to gain an ego that can become more toxic over time. So that's why it's important to stay humbled as you gain that platform. Also, if you're new here, follow. Can we hit our follower goal? Can you see how dirty my glasses are? Oh, I'm tiny. <laughs> Guys, I'm tired. <laughs> I agree, Tina, I agree. I think it's... It's... Mm. 
I think your commentary and how you conduct yourself on stream and off stream kind of shapes how your chat room is. And it also comes down to like how firm you need to be with moderating. Like I understand like some joking can be fine, but it's like if you let a lot of things slip by in your chat room, then it's going to be very hard for them to change to any new restrictions they have in a chat room. Like I know Guys, we have LGBTQI tagged. I'm a queer person, okay? I feel like a lot of my chatters are queer. And that's great. We love that. And, like, sometimes we can joke, but there are obviously some jokes that are not cool. And it's easier when you have, like, a smaller community because you can shape them a little bit better. But when you get to a point where you have new viewers coming in, people don't know, like, the vibe or the joke, then... And when you have, like, tens of thousands of viewers, it's very hard to moderate. Like, some things will slip through, but then it also comes down to, like, there needs to be adequate communication between the streamer and the moderation team on how the mod should run the chat room. Well, so I don't have that problem yet. You can shape them a little bit better. Exactly. I like being manipulative. Back to the game. But women, yeah, we love girls. Or I love girls, anyway. I just want to be able to swear. I allow some swearing, it's just sometimes some get on about it and some don't. <laughs> it's all going according to plan. Does Lakitu on- oh my god, it's 200. On the sh on the cloud have a green or a red shell? Green? Okay, so then why does this Lakitu have a red? He has a shell, good one. I mean, if you're colorblind, you probably can't see it. Oh my- Okay, so... My friend got the Resident 4 Evil remake game, right? So we were literally... Almost all day- Almost all day Saturday, and then majority of the day Sunday, I was just- We were just in a Discord call, and I was watching him play. And... This friend is colorblind, okay? They can still see, but they have like the red-green colorblind. And, okay. With different friends, you can drill about different things. So this friend... <laughs> will be like... Because anytime, anytime I saw red in the game, so whenever like he would kill a zombie and there'd be blood, I'm like, Oh, can you see that? Or there was a skin where the character could have red hair. I was like, oh wait, you can't even see that, huh? And then he'd be like, shut up! And I really... Because like, this friend, they will like... They don't like banter back sometimes. But I'm like... If I call you colorblind, just call me disabled, and then we're even. And he's like, no, I'm not gonna say that, but I'm like, it'd be funny. It'd be funny if he actually did it. I'd be cooking him. Yeah, this was the friend I told you guys about. I sent, like, a colorblind meme. Where I was like, can you see this number? And it was the red-green colorblind test, and he literally couldn't see it, and I teased him for so long. G guys, don't worry, this is my literal best friend. We can goof and gaff. I- don't cancel me. <laughs> Bro, skull emoji. Wait, I'm on track to get a three star. I only bully my friends, because that's what friends do. Right? <clears throat> I mean, if there's ever a time when I'm talking to a friend and they don't like a joke, they'll tell me and I will respect that boundary. Because I think a little bit of banter is fine and playful, but if something is genuinely going to hurt their feelings, as long as they communicate that boundary, it's important to respect it. That's why, like, if you're ever with your friends and something kind of hurts your feelings, just tell them how you feel. And if they call you, like, a little bitch or they don't stop the joke, then maybe they're not a good friend. Yeah, I think 200cc is actually really difficult.
Wait, guys, am I toxic? <laughs> I think another big thing too when you're bantering, it comes down to tone and inflection. Like you can tell when somebody is like being genuinely mean or being catty. For the most part. Easy? Yeah, I'm never gonna watch One Piece. My sister has tried to get me to watch it, cause she'll watch like an episode every night before she goes to bed. So sometimes if I'm if I'm hanging out in her room and she has it on, I'll sit and watch it. But it's just like it's way too long. Nothing. Basically, all episodes are filler. Nothing happens. Oh my god! I can't. I can't. Kim can't catch a break. Yeah, cause she doesn't get breaks anymore. Cause she's not working. <laughs> Sorry, I need to work on my delivery. Okay. Is it bad that I didn't really enjoy watching Demon Slayer? It's a bit too slow. I only got through like halfway season one. And I still need to read the manga, but my sister won't let me read it. No, it's fine? Okay, good. A zero star trophy, how humiliating. This was the pre that I was like, I'm gonna prove you guys that I'm good at 200cc. It's actually fast paced for an anime. It felt wait. I think the. I'm, let's start online. I think the pacing. Oh, wait, two. Oops! 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 <laughs> Go back. <laughs> Ew. I think the pacing for, like, the individual episodes is too slow. I get to sit back and relax now. Who's read Yudu Camp? Not me. You're door dashing something? What are you gonna get? Oh, since I have- I can eat my banana bread. This is break time. Yeah, my sister, she doesn't watch the new One Piece episodes because she insists on watching things dubbed. Which I think is so annoying. She's a fake fan. You don't know yet? Um, get a hamburger. Oh, the new steak burrito at Taco Bell goes crazy. Oh, vegetarian? Get a fake hamburger. The dub isn't bad on One Piece. I'm one of the people to where if I watch a dub initially, it's fine. But once I hear, like, the Japanese voice actors and then I hear the English ones, I just can't do it. If there is a sub, I will always watch sub. Yeah, I feel like third-party delivery services would be scamming. My sister has a DoorDash premium account, so we don't have to pay as many service fees. But for like the individual menu listing prices, they're like $2 more. Because I think restaurants have to pay like a 10% fee. That's why they upcharge everything a little bit. You were vegetarian for 13 months and then went back to eating meat like two weeks ago? You're a quitter. You're a quitter. You're a fake humanitarian. Dude, we had winners POV. <laughs> Maybe I 
I am. <laughs> this banana bread is really dry and I'm out of coconut water. But I do have regular water. <clears throat> so I'm like planning out how I'm gonna take pictures for the art website. And what I'm gonna do is this wall back here, it's all empty. So I'm gonna move everything out of this part of my room and like arrange my paintings. And I was gonna do a shot where it's just me sitting on a stool. Like, you know, all posed artsy. But I don't have a stool. So, my makeshift stool is gonna be a little TV table. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit my fat ass on. And I was trying it this morning and I heard like the wood creaking. <laughs> it didn't crack, but it was creaking. So we'll see tomorrow if I break the TV table. Okay, it's racing time. You guys know the rules. If I get first, chat gets a sub. We're also doing predictions. First by 12.13, everybody. Or 12.15. Oh, it's 12.13. 12.30. Everybody go gamba. I would cry. But wouldn't it be funny? Because since I don't have anybody who can help me take pictures, I'm just going to record film in OBS. So imagine I just capture myself breaking the TV table. <laughs> That'd be good. That'd be good content. Okay, I'm actually tryharding on this race. I'm gonna try my best. Wait, I'm in second? No! They're such a little bitch. People who break their setups make me mad. I don't think people do it on purpose. Like, you know you see like, those people like spilling water all over the keyboard or their PC? I just feel sad. Because I can understand why that is upsetting, but it's not like they do it on purpose. That's why like, I don't understand why like, parents will get mad at you if you like break your phone or whatever. Because it's like, it's not like we did it to make you angry. It was an accident. Wait, I'm still in second? Holy. Never mind. Scripted. doing <laughs> they're just running into the wall me when i play people who throw games when they tilt are so cringe you mean like lose the game on purpose that's not what i'm doing i'm not throwing on purpose everybody don't look at the place i am not in last i'm in 11th see 10th i would never lose on purpose I need to check my audio because it looks really loud for some reason but it shouldn't be oh yeah my mic is loud i am sorry it's loud it's like a decibel louder than normal i'm sorry i'm sorry oh because i changed my audio settings for discord why did i believe don't worry don't worry you have until 12 i have until 12 30. wait who gambled a thousand points oh no <laughs> Tina gambled with- uh, Did you gamble all your points? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, 
new viewers, RIP. I I'll get first just for you. I'm sorry about audio, I didn't double check. Cause like I was looking at it, cause the way I do audio is I lower the input level to 70% on the actual device manager on my computer. But it was at 85, so it was like, not crazy loud, but it's a bit louder than normal. So, oopsie. <laughs> Writing that down. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not like I do it on purpose. Unless? Wait, I'm actually good at this course. I can maybe win. Guys, Amy, ask me anything. Oh, wait, I actually got a boost. I'm 23 and I've never gone to a musical concert. I think the closest thing is when there's like a a two-person band at the at the fair just performing on the sidelines, busking. I think it's because I'm so scared of like crowds or like more so like an emergency happening during like a mass gathering event. But oh come on! The only people I've like got considered seeing in person is 21 pilots. But then I'll see clips of people like re-uploading them at the concert. I'm like, oh I can just watch the clips. Just their really shaky vertical videos, and that's just as good, right? No, please don't start that copy pasta, Tina. Crystal, don't you dare. That's gonna annoy the shit out of me. Don't do it. Don't. Uh... There are so much better copy pastas. Oh no! Have you ever been asked the same question twice on stream? Not really, because I usually answer any questions I get in chat unless I just ignore it. It's not that I ignore messages, I just forget to read it out loud. Because when I look at my chat, I glance over everything, and then I pick one little message to read that I think is, like, engaging enough, right? So it's not that I'm ignoring everybody. But yes, I've been asked asked several things multiple times in a stream before and it was all right but kind of annoying not gonna lie oh my god i oh, <laughs> oh no. no i think titans is my age <laughs> I mean, I think it's because, like, I've seen Titans. They don't look 34. I think if there's a streamer who's, like, middle-aged and they've only recently started streaming, I think that's kind of weird. Oh, did I boom the guy at the end? I'm sorry. I thought you were, like, 24, so old and crusty. I'm gonna be 24. That's so mean. Guys, I'm not 25 yet. I'm still in my young 20s. <laughs> that is so real. I see so many TikToks that are like, I'm middle-aged, I have five kids, and I want to be a streamer. I just quit my job. And it's like, honey, you're trying to make contents for 13-year-olds as a 30-year-old. I think that's kind of weird. Wait, how old did Titans say they were? Birthday stream? Oh, you're 21. Okay. Am I the oldest? I think Kim is the closest to me in age. How are we the same age? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are old? I don't ever want to be a teenager again, if that's what you mean. I like being an adult. <gasps> oh, just my track! 
I'm gonna win this one. I'm actually really good at this track. Yeah, when you're a teenager, you can't smoke, you can't buy lottery tickets. It sucks. And I like being able to, like, buy things for myself. Because before you had, like, an allowance. Yeah, you can. Just not legally. Mont. <laughs> Don't self-report. The FBI is watching. Oh, come on. I was feeling evil. I look at chat for one second. Okay, pro strat, if you're a streamer, what you do when you read your chat, you glance over, pick a message, memorize the message within five seconds, and then look away. Don't look at the chat. Shh. Don't actually look at the chat as you're reading it. That's why when I when I watch back bots and edit them, I will paraphrase a chat message incorrectly. And that's why. It's because I literally don't read it out loud. My life probably won't get better. No, don't say that. Don't say that. You'll have so much more freedoms as an adult. Oh, I clapped two people. Holy. I'm still only in six. I feel like if you're the type of kid who peaks in high school, then that's your peak, right? But if you're like the kind of loner kid or the loser kid in school, you're gonna have your peak later in life, so don't worry about it. You know, the people who be buying graduation rings, that's definitely their peak. And I think also because school is such a structured environment, you know, you go to this class at the same time every day, you see the same people every day. Once you start working or once you get to college, you're gonna have so much more freedoms. There still would be structures and all, but it's far less rigid and structured as, like, traditional school. And that's something I didn't really realize until I was out of high school. Because I had similar symptoms to where, like, oh, you know, I guess this is life, but life does get better. I hope it does. It will. It will. You know what does not get better? I mean, Mario Kart gameplay. It gets repetitive. Then you gotta find things to mix it up. Get a new hobby. Join a club. Volunteer. Because once you fall into the same cycle, it's very easy to feel fully consumed by it. But once you try something new, it might be scary. But it'll be a step in the right direction. <laughs> Writing that down. Yeah, screenshot it. Save it for later. If I can get Coconut Mall, I can totally win here. I'm sad. Very sad. Surely I'll get first today. You know, you guys can keep roasting each other. As long as you don't roast me, I'll, I'll be happy. No! That's the second. 
second time I've gotten banana snipe today. Is somebody watching me play? Who is it? Guys, don't no infighting, please. No more infighting. This is how we ruin the movement. <laughs> what movement, you say? I wasn't looking. I thought it would take me. I. The chat movement. Copium, I can catch up. Okay, the your mom jokes TikTok I posted, I think I posted it out of context. Because <laughs> it was the example I was saying earlier to where I look at chat and I paraphrase what they said. And I think Max said that your mom is overrated, and then I interpreted it as your mom jokes are overrated. So I think I might have clip chimped Mac again. You can only get the Mario Kart DLC through Switch Online if you have the premium version of the online subscription. So yes and no. You have the family thing? That does not count then, I don't think. Unless you have the premium version of that. I think. Guys, it's 12.30. I did not get first. I'm sorry, believers. Cough, cough, Tina. I'm sorry. Oh no. R.I.P. You'll get it. You'll you'll get him back. Don't worry about it. You'll you'll what, just watch every stream, click on every goal eye notification, and you'll earn it back. Don't worry. Okay, everybody, go Gamba. Go Gamba. Do you think I will get first by twelve forty-five p.m.? Is that Walter White? Who can believe? Oh no. <laughs> Who did it? Kobobo? Okay, you're, you're. Kobobo's trying to falsely inflate the market. Okay, this is my track, everybody. Charting. No, I knew I was gonna that. <laughs> oh my god, there's a helicopter. If you aren't Gage, please step out. What? We can't be exclusionary. Okay, I need to stop looking at chat. If I'm I'm charting, I'm charting. Why not? Well, okay, let's not bring that Let's not start that debate. <laughs> let's not. <laughs> Let's not. Bullet Bill. Wait, I'm in third. Oh my god. Ain't no way. Wait.
No, the motherfucker I knew was gonna hit you. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, my god. I can't. This is my favorite chat ever. Thank you. What do you think of when someone calls a guy a trick? I don't know. Well, my immediate thought is T-R-A-P, but I don't think that's it. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna win this race. Everything went wrong? Yeah. <laughs> don't remind me. Oh, bye, Tina. Thank you for hanging out. I hope you had a good time, man. We'll see you again. Hopefully, you'll get those points back, right? <laughs> bye, bye Tina. Are we talking about ghosting? Wait, what? Ghosting is illegal? I do that all the time. I hate texting. Wait, I think it chose my track. No, it didn't. Oh my god, holy moly, thank you for the follow! Plus one, everybody. Thank you. Oh? Did I say something bad? Wait, I'm clueless. This has to be my least favorite track. Okay, I'm not unless, not unless. I hate being a free thinker. You sound like a silly Republican. <laughs> I hate thinking, I hate having a brain. I mean, if you didn't have a brain, then you would just be DOM. But then if you're DOM, then you're kind of clueless, and then I feel like you're happier. No, oh, it's a blessing and a curse. Oh, blue shell? I would love- you want to be actually brain dead? <laughs> Don't say that. No, like, if I ever was in, like, a comatose state and I was, like, a cabbage brain, I would just be like, pull the plug. Be like GG's. Please! Wait, seventh? Dude, how are they faster than me with a mushroom and on a star? No, because like when you're on life support, that's so much money that your family has to pay, and then I feel bad. Because they're we're all brokies. I would just lie on TikTok live all day while my mom farms me for money. Oh no. <laughs> I wouldn't feel bad. I wouldn't have any thoughts. Yeah, but then. Uh, uh. <laughs> Peace. I'm not. I'm not in a vegetative state yet, everybody. My legs can still move, but probably not in two years. Oh my god. Yet? Yeah, because the doctors are saying I'm just gonna get worse. Smile. That's why I gotta enjoy, well, enjoy what I can do when I can. What I can do when I can. And don't, don't worry about me, guys. It's like... It's not 
life-threatening, so I'll still, like, live. It's just my quality of life will diminish over time. But... The saving grace is that I can get brain surgery, but that'll cost, like, a bajillion dollars. Do all the drugs? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I'm good. I still have morals. Now, it's, it's very easy for me to like go all doomer and gloomer whenever I think about my medical shit, but in actuality, if I had the means. Okay, that was lucky. If I have the means to like afford a surgery, I could get it done. And then. Oh my god, first! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I... <laughs> oh no! I just have to make sure I do what I can now to not worsen my symptoms. That means I, I can't do any high intense exercise, so I can't do jogging. Can't do too heavy lifting. That's why I do walks every morning. Scripted for real? Shut up! That's like your one go-to joke, Keelan, and one day it's not gonna be funny. You gotta think of new jokes. The worst item right now. <laughs> God, it's so sad like seeing everybody like zoom past you. Should I DQ? If my life is scripted, I want to skip to the part where I have a romantic life. Me too, man. Me too. DQ? Uh, like, un-Q. But Dairy Queen is also good. I always get the same thing whenever I go to Dairy Queen, because I like fruit flavors, I don't like chocolate that much, so I usually get the strawberry cheesecake core blizzard. <laughs> if one day the scripted joke is not funny, I'm gonna dip. No! Don't do that. You just gotta find new jokes. So I was talking to my roommate the other day, and they came up with the best analogy on how improv works. I've never taken an improv class, my roommate has neither, and they- They're not funny, okay? They're not- if they're watching this clip, I'm sorry, but you are not funny. You gotta- you gotta learn how to be funny. And they were saying how they feel like I can be funny when I wanna be, right? And they were saying whenever you do banter, or whenever you do like your improv bits, you kind of pretend that the person is in on the joke. And I think that was the best analogy I've ever heard. Like, whenever you're bantering or, like, trying to rip and rap, you just have to assume that the person you're bantering with is gonna joke back and lean into the joke. You have to be in on it. And I feel like that's what leads to really good successful banter. I want to take an improv class. I think it'd be fun. Because pre-pandemic, like, literally right before, I was debating taking, like, an improv, salsa, and then a ceramics class. And then lockdowns happened. Sad. Dude, I had first for, like, a whole half a lap. What happened? And you never- <laughs> you never left your house again? That is kind of true. <laughs> That is true. But you know, people are scary. Wait, second? Oh, that... The pinball stole the item boxes. That is so mean. That is... Have I peeked? I've peeked. Lamau, LMFBO, you guys are so mean! Stop it! 
You guys never laugh at my jokes. You always laugh when I lose. <laughs> it's so mean. Oh my god. Uh, okay. No, actually, Kobobo will type them out when I do a joke, so thank you. You're the only good chatter. <laughs> Give me a dub, please. Well, what was this, Sim? No, they're good chatter. I think it's absolute BS how the pinballs will take item boxes. If I could have gotten that double item box like a lap ago, I could I could be in top three. <laughs> Kobobo teacher's bed? Actually true. They they make so many clips. But we love that. Oh, Sunshine Airport. Please, please, please. Sunshine Airport is literally my best track. It is my best track. Please. Oh, so many people are DQing. Uh-uh. Ask how the teacher's kids are. I don't have any kids in this RP. Kobobo asked to collect the homework. <laughs> no, I was that kid. I was so annoying when I was in elementary. I was a little teacher's bed. Because every spring and summer, I would bring them flowers. My mom would have us bake little treats for the teacher. We would. I would draw my teacher's pictures. Give me a good track. Guys, any questions? I will tell you all my secrets. Okay, it's 12.44, so if I get first on this race, it counts for the prediction. And if I don't... I never play market again. Hashtag real. What's my opinion on K-pop? I've listened to a few K-pop. I've listened. Okay, I've only listened to BTS. Don't cancel me. I like the sound of it, the production, but I do feel kind of weird consuming media that I don't understand. I definitely like watching foreign TV shows because you know I can watch the or I can read the captions. But I feel weird listening to a song if I don't know what it's about because I know some songs are more explicit. But I, I do really like Korean soft pop. Like, you know the songs you'll hear during like the Korean drama OPs? I love the sound of it. It sounds so like heavenly almost. Maybe I'll give like actual K-pop another try, but not for now. I can blast the gun away. Guys, I love Mario. There's not many people in this lobby. There's only like nine, I just realized. I low key missed the Super Mario Brothers era. I don't think anybody misses that era because that was so bad. You know what? This is bad, not getting first, but I will. <laughs> I promise. I, okay, guys, I'm very tired, and I have a blister on my hand.
Well, Bobo and Tina funding my free subs is the best. I mean, now that you're on spring break, Crystal, you have more time to watch if you want to. And also more opportunities to gamble. Guys, give me Riz right now. Just say, hey, you're cute. You want to go out to lunch? Or you want to get Froyo? No, you gotta say, hey, I like your shoes. Let's go shoe shopping. Wait, how would thrifting be on like a first date? The person. Wait, what? They're in chat? Uh oh. You're at 8k now? Wait, you've gained 8k in two weeks? Uh oh. I will sing a song after this race. Okay, wait, I'm cracked at this track. Sing while you race? No, but that's bad for clips. And then you can't really hear me over the game music, and that's horrible. Compliment their socks and shoes this time. I, that sounds really good. I like that. Write that down. Why is this happening? Sing the game music? No, I'm I'm not it. I think I'm good with banter and making jokes on the spot, but I cannot rap on the spot or sing. You know, you gotta be a different type of creative to do that. Dino's dying to play footsies with his, his crush. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ. I would never want to play footsies with my crush. I thought I'd star I was invincible. I had a star I thought I was invincible. Oh my I I think today is not my day. Should we play Animal Crossing today? Yeah, Crystal, you literally have their number. Just be like, hey. <laughs> Smirk face. Look at the screen when I play. I probably would play better. You guys, I got to sing a song. I think I need a break. All my character's been doing is crying. Oh, I want to go on a cruise really bad. Cause like a cruise is just a giant hotel and you get to travel and they plan everything for you. Mac, go get a snack. Okay, everybody. Would you guys be mad if I only did a two hour stream? Cause I'm actually very tired. I'll still do Stardew Valley, but I'm genuinely very tired right now. Yes, shit. Hi, Cokes. <laughs> Welcome in. <laughs> no. Because... I'm actually tired. I'll- I'll think about it. Wait, can we get some Yo's? Hi, Cokes. Okay, let's find a song to sing. <laughs> Me right now. <laughs> oh, no. But- but we did unlock a subscriber-only stream, so I promise if I end in, like, 15 minutes, then we'll do a longer Stardew Valley stream. Like, three hours. I, I don't know, I'm very tired. Okay, let's find a song.
<laughs> oh, there's no lyrics. Come on. What if I did something crazy? I'm not singing what. I'm not. <laughs> what if I try to do a Mariah Carey song? I feel like that could go crazy. Okay. Lame? She's not lame. What if I try it? It's gonna go... Okay, if it sounds bad, nobody clip. Got it? Nobody clip if it sounds bad. Okay. One of my favorite songs by Mariah Carey is We Belong Together. It's been a while since I've sung it. Like, just practicing it. <laughs> Ready to clip your orders? No! <laughs> Okay, everybody. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end after this because I'm genuinely too tired. Okay. So. You can use your channel points and I will sing a song. I just linked a playlist to other singing clips. I'm going to try and do the first verse for... Um, we Belong Together by Mariah Carey. It's been a long time since I've sung this one. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna pop off. <laughs> okay, ready? Everybody put your favorite animated, your favorite hype modes, hype modes in the chat. Okay. <laughs> so I, I have to like get the rhythm down again <clears throat> i didn't mean it when i said i didn't love you so i should have held on tight and never should have let you go i didn't know nothing i was stupid i was foolish i was lying to myself i could not fathom i would ever be without your love Never imagined I'd be sitting here beside myself Cause I didn't know you, cause I didn't know me But I thought I knew everything I never felt The feeling that I'm feeling now that I don't hear your voice Or have you touching kiss your lips cause I don't have a choice Or oh, what I wouldn't give to have you lying by my side right here Cause baby, when you left I lost a part of me it's still so hard to believe Come back, baby, please, cause We belong together Who else am I gonna lean on when times get rough? Who's gonna talk to me on the phone till the sun comes up? Who is gonna take a place? There ain't nobody better Oh, baby, baby We belong together That wasn't bad. I sang it because usually when I sing it to myself, I usually sing it slower, but I did like actual tempo. I actually did the the actual cadence. This is my favorite song you've sung so far. Thank you. I'll I'll practice it because I think the best like tempo change is when she goes from the opening verse to the second half. Where it's like, Cause I didn't know you, cause I didn't know me, but I thought I knew everything I never felt. The feeling that I'm feeling now that I don't hear your voice. Like that, that transition I think is beautiful. Thank you, Hacker, for redeeming. Thank you. Okay, I'm very tired. <laughs> Oopsie. I think, I think I'm gonna have to end stream here. I told myself. You guys know I'm not going to push myself. Um, I think I'm going to end it here. Don't worry. We will do a chill Stardew Valley sub-only stream in a few hours. Maybe at, it's 1pm. 
Maybe at like 3-ish p.m. So make sure I have notifications turned on. You deserve an award for that? Maybe a prime sub? Because I have to run an ad. <laughs> um, but don't worry. I know I said I'm ending. So if you could, click the follow button if you're new here. Can we hit our follow goal today? If you follow, you get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Um, before I end, we can do calligraphy. So anybody who gifts a sub or uses their channel points will get their name written right now. Any redeemers? Any primers? Okay, while I'm getting that second camera set up, I will run an ad so you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. Okay. Did I get first by 1 p.m.? No. Okay, we didn't have any believers anyway, so it's fine. One of these days, I will get first in online. I promise. Oh, I gotta... You know what I think it is also? I'm very, like, overheated. I'm very hot right now. And it's because since the... What you call it? Because everybody else in the house likes it warm, but I don't. So two of you won. Obviously, I lose. But since it's really cold outside, the air that's circulating inside isn't as warm as it should be. So... We have the heater on at like 75 when we used to keep it at 60, so it's way too hot for me. I think that is it. Not me making excuses, but I'll have to ask my roommates tomorrow too if we can lower the AC, because like, it's way too hot for me right now. Because I got these lights, my computer, computer. Oh my god! What is this? Are these sketch cards? Holy moly! If you give five subs to the channel by the end of the month, you will get a custom portrait card drawn. Right now we have four people eligible. So if you want to card yourself, all you gotta do is gift five subs, everybody. Okay, so we had two primes and one gifted today. Let's go. You can also use your channel points and I will write your name for free. Oh, I just realized I'm wearing, like, the thickest sweatpants I have. That's probably another reason why, because... <laughs> Let's not overshare. <laughs> you know when you stand up and there's, like, a butt print on your seat and it's so embarrassing? I hate when that happens. Especially at school or on the bus. Oh wait, I gotta change the title. We're not playing Mario Kart anymore. Okay, be honest. Didn't today's stream title go crazy? <laughs> Cause like, I usually brainstorm- Cause like, with Mario Kart, it's usually just like a random ass title. I think the best title I ever had, which is also Mario Kart streamer, I had a boatload of unique viewers was like two weeks ago when I titled the stream Racing Your Way Into Your Heart. That had so many unique clicks on it. <laughs> but today's stream title, I was just trying to think of like the stupidest shit. <laughs> Cause I think I've used the same title like six months ago. You know, I gotta rehash what works, right?
Well, I was looking at bakeries because I want to buy like a small cake for my birthday. And then I also want to get like either like big cake slices or mini cakes for my roommates because I want to get a cake just for me for stream. And there's a whole bunch of like independent bakeries in my area. Like the one I'm looking at is like an independently run three generation women owned bakery. And I was like, oh my God, I'm lived up. I love that. Because my budget for a cake is like a hundred dollars for everything. So like the actual cake and then side slices. So I think that place is within budget. Deepest Darkest Secrets? Hi, Ethan. You missed it. You gotta watch the VOD. Did you actually reveal any secrets? No, watch the VOD. Who's your worst roommate? I think you guys know. I already leaked. I already said earlier. What did I say? I just heard my roommate's door open. <laughs> um, who's my worst roommate? My sister. It's my sister. She's the worst, because she is my sister. Oh my god, it's not the funny one. <laughs> oh yeah, how oh, I said one of them is not funny. <laughs> well, the answer is yes, it's that one, the non-funny one, but not because they're not funny. Oh my god. <laughs> Ethan doesn't have roommates, that's the answer? No, I have roommates. When I do the ramen stream, probably this weekend, you will not see or hear them, but you'll see me serving their ramen bowls. Don't worry, they are very much real. Okay, once again, thank you, Deacon. For the nine-month resub, congrats on your sunflower badge in chat. You now have clout. Yeah, I, when we went to the Asian store this weekend, I bought a whole bunch of goodies for the ramen. Right how you serve them during the pancake stream? No, I literally did. Even if you didn't see their hands, they were real. I promise. Won't believe it till I see it? They're never gonna be on camera. She plays all the parts of her roommates? Guys, I'm not schizophrenic, I promise. I have been getting like a lot of schizophrenia jokes in my TikTok feed, and I think it's trying to tell me something. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I saw a floating plate? Yeah, you saw the floating plate. I saw the person. I saw the string attached on the plate. No, that was not it. Mm -mm. You think I could manipulate the strings off camera? You think it was, I had a foot pedal? Like the puppeteers do? You guys think I'm that smart? Honestly, thank you. <laughs> I saw you secretly take a bite. I mean, look at me, I'm overweight. So yeah, that could be it. One day the schizophrenia jokes are gonna go too far. And once I say to stop, you guys better stop. But honestly, for now it's funny. Stream is over? Yeah, I'm very tired. But hi, Mac. 
I, I, I'm still gonna do Stardew Valley, though. I think I'm just gonna take, like, a two-hour break. I need to take a nap. I think it's because I woke up way too early. Yeah, you can see I'm stuttering more right now. Thank you for redeeming, Mac. Okay, this pen is dead. Just like my Twitch channel. Yeah, I woke up at 5, and then I started cooking at 6. Because today I had to... Because I made type pork, where you have to cut the... You have to you get pork loin, and then you cut off the fat, and then you brown it, and then you boil it for an hour. So I had to stand at the stovetop to, like, skim off the foam for an hour, and then I had to sear it again. So I was on my feet for almost two hours. Oh my god, that's why I'm tired. <laughs> hate that. I, don't worry about me, I'll be fine. I just need to know to not push myself too much. I'm never gonna do anything that is too much for me. Like, I'm never gonna go live if I'm, like, genuinely exhausted or, like, today I'll just end. I'm too tired. You don't have a chair? It's at the stove top, bozo. I'm short. I'm five two. If I so I if I sat in a chair at the stove, I wouldn't be able to reach it. If I sat, the stove would be here. So no, I would not be able to do that. Good suggestion though. But no, that would not work. That's why I don't usually stove top cook. I like slow cooking. You got called bozo. <laughs> What is bozo a bad word? Yeah, I'll, I'll save up to get a stool. We'll, we'll put that into the May Meg Esports budget. It's just hard because, like, based on of my Twitch income I get every month, which is about 100 to 200, that'll, like, pay off my monthly expenses, so, like, I feel bad asking for, like, extra things. Don't- I'm saying this. Don't feel inclined to donate. Don't subscribe. Wait. Do not subscribe! Do not spend money here! <laughs> I'm being serious. But it's just, like, <laughs> um, I feel bad because like, I'll, then I'd have to, then I'd have to ask my sister for money, and then I already feel bad asking for more. Because I remember something that stuck with me. Like this was a few months ago, but she was in my room. We were t talking about something, and as she was walking out, she saw that I had like a boba cup in my trash, and she was like, "What's that?" She's like, "Did you get a drink today?" And I'm like, "Yeah." And I felt bad. Because even though it was only like $5 and then a $5 tip, like, she was still, like, critical of it. Because she knows that I can't afford to buy other things. So it's like, I don't want to ask. And I also don't want to buy extra things when I know that she's covering so much for me. I, I talked to her about it last night, actually, because... Or I don't know why we're talking about it. But, um, she was saying she's willing to cover my expenses until either I can work or get disability. So it's probably going to be another fucking year. Bro is tipping 100%? Yeah, I'm, I'm part of the working class. We love tipping. But yeah. So that's why, like, I don't like buying extra shit. I work with what I got, you know what I mean? Anyway, enough trauma dubbing. Back to calligraphy. I think it's, like, hard for me to... grasp everything, because, like... What year is it? 23. In, like, 21, I was healthy. Like, I had money saved, I was working. And now I'm not. So it's just, like, bad RNG. But I'm still working the best I can. You know, finishing my degree. Spending my time streaming. 
Oh, thank you, Crystal. Oopsie, it was off screen. Did you play a game today? Yeah, we played Mario Kart for two hours. We did. That's where I spilled all my secrets. Watch the bun. Damn, Mac, you're so close to that one year badge. She didn't spell anything? No, I did. I did. Don't lie. I would never lie. If anything, chat did? Real. Did you spell a secret for every race you lost? That's a good concept. That is a good concept. I'll write that down. I tell this chat more than I tell people I know IRL. I mean, that's the glory of having an anonymous personality online. You could say whatever the fuck you want. I think that that grill is trying to riz you up, Mac. I think they're trying to smash. Or they just like your style, we'll never know. Okay. Once again, thank you to Titans for the gifted sub, and then Mac for the 11 month resub. You're so close to that one year badge. Okay, now we're doing channel point names. So if you want me to write your name, all I gotta do is use your channel points. Any redeemers? She just likes the vibe. Red and blue stripes. I can only do one color, but I will do blue. White? <laughs> I'll try. Like peace in 17? Name 17 peace treaties. I don't know any. <laughs> E3 
Ethan, when are you going to change your username again? <laughs> How long are you stuck with this one? Or are you just going to keep it? So the closest color I have to white are these offset grays, so the N95 is the closest I have to white. It's probably going to show up still a little bit gray, but it'll be the closest I have to white ink that isn't pigment. Oh no, it didn't change. <laughs> See? Change your username is not worth it for the bit. Well, that's so funny. Can you see it on camera? Yeah, it's a bit lighter in person. Wait a minute, what? Isn't that a Lizzo line? Why didn't I get a choice in voting? Because you weren't the one who broke the sub goal. Also, you weren't in chat when the goal was broken, so. Oopsie! Scam as usual? No, I never scam. See, there we have Crystal. That's not how that works? Oh, well, you didn't type, Mac. Oopsie. Oh. Well. Should I scam? <laughs> you always make chats of only when it's not supposed to be. Oops. I just forget, because like sometimes I'll put chatted to sub only when I end stream, but then I forget to turn it back on, so oopsie. Dude, I'm Mac, are you actually mad? Are you actually mad? I'm sorry. I'll cry live on stream if you're actually mad. <laughs> Crying live on stream. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Crystal. The one time I'll back Crystal up, okay? Or, back Crystal up. Why did you not say anything when the decision was made? You didn't care in the moment. Exactly. Oh, bye, Ethan. Rest well, man. But Titans voted for Stardew Valley. What did you want, Mac? I might change my mind. I'm not the streamer here, why do I have to think about it? True. But you're the one bitching! You're literally the one bitching. <laughs> I can't. Didn't I say earlier that Mac is gonna become a hate watcher later? Art channel? Shit. Should we do a coin flip? Where everybody at Titans? Is Titans in chat? <laughs> oh wait, we have one more name. Yeah. I didn't get to vote either. That's because you didn't subscribe. If you subscribe and help beat the goal, then maybe I'll let you vote. Is Titans here? Should we scam? Okay, but honestly, based on how tired I am, I would not do good with calligraphy because I'm already kind of struggling right now. So, even if there was a vote for art, I would veto it. Oh yeah, you're right. Titans is eating his lunch. You're right. So 
So why give the choice? I'm here to argue today? Mac was so nice in the offline chat before stream. Jesus Christ. This is why your crush doesn't accept your riz. Oh no. Uh oh. I'm backing up, Mac. Ugh. I got mad aggressive for no reason. Mac, did you eat something? I think you need to go grab your snack. Because you said you were hungry like 30 minutes ago. So maybe you're actually hangry. And if I'm right, I demand an apology. Eat a granola bar? Good. Okay, any other redeemers? Let's go. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. I'll change a painting. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, just when you see Dino tap in the chat, just insta pen. <laughs> oh my god, just be like, it was an accident. Dude, Crystal getting banned on two channels. I'll dodge it? Dodge this. I was gonna time you out for the bit, but then I almost clicked ban. <laughs> I don't wanna do that to you again. But that would be a good bit. Okay, let's change out the paintings, everybody. Sorry, there's a... Should I leak? There's like a smidgen of dust on here. Don't worry, this one will not be sold. This one features... Um, a... This is a gold to green mica powder effect. This one is oh yeah another gold to green the dust adds texture you could say that don't worry any replicas that i do sell will not have dna or dust on it don't worry tada You want dust? Do you think that'll increase the resale value, huh? Okay, everybody, I'm gonna end stream. Once again, I'm sorry. I'm genuinely really tired. I think I'm gonna rest. Change into shorts, because I am way too hot right now. You like all of them? You can't choose a favorite? Pick one through four. Easy. Um. I'm trying to think. Because I don't... Mm. I, I kind of just want to go to bed. What if I don't do a stream tonight? What if I just rest? But then I'm fully rested for tomorrow when we'll do Omori. And we beat the game in one sitting. If it takes 10 hours, so be it. I did 9 hour coffee talk on- the Coffee talk should have- It said 4 hours, but it took me 8 hours to beat it. Sacrilege? Omari? Wait, did I say it wrong? Tired Peason is funny though. Isn't it part of Twitch TOS to not, like, harm yourself? Would this be considered, like, pushing my limits? I, I, I'm, like, genuinely too tired. I think I didn't get enough sleep. I was on my feet for too long. It's way too hot. I... I'm sorry. I will... Hmm... 
Pushing the limits is faking having roommates? No, they are real. I promise, they are real. Anytime you see me jump, that's when I- that's when the door opens. Or when they go into their bedrooms. Because the doors in this unit are very loud. Yeah, I don't- I think I'm gonna rest the rest- I'm gonna rest the rest of the day. Because I don't think it would be good to push myself today. They don't knock? No, 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 like when they close the bedrooms to their rooms, it's kind of loud. It's cause like, you know how when you turn a knob and like little- Like the little thing goes inside? It doesn't go inside all the way, so even when you close it, it still go- it still clicks. So there's no way to like, open your door at 2am to sneak food without somebody hearing the door open. They're paid actors? Yes, all of the Meg Esports budget goes into my roommates to pay their wages. <laughs> oh, it's not loud enough for you guys to hear? That's good, but it still scares me. Okay guys, enough stalling. I think I'm gonna end here. Um, thank you to everybody who watched any Chatter's Liquors. I will be live tomorrow. I don't think I can do a stream tonight. I genuinely don't. Um, I'm gonna rest. <laughs> the production value for this stream is crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna be the next Germa, everybody. <laughs> um... I'll be live tomorrow with Amori. We're beating the game tomorrow. Stream ends when I beat Amori. And then Friday, it'll be a random game. Depending on how long it takes to beat Amori, maybe we'll do sub only Stardew. And if I don't do it tomorrow, then I will for sure do it sometime throughout this week. Oh, I wanted to do a proposal with you guys. What if we did a weekly prime watch along because there's a function to where if i link my amazon prime to my twitch account i can host a prime watch along and if you the viewer have an amazon prime not a prime sub just a prime account that you have the login info for you can link it to your twitch account and then you can watch any prime movie or tv show with me in real time through twitch I'm sure some of you guys have seen Prime Watch Alongs. Will Neff does them like every other week. Um, cause I was thinking, what if we did like cartoon Saturdays or Sundays where we just watch fucking SpongeBob? It wouldn't. The VOD would be like kind of unwatchable because how the Twitch Prime Watch Alongs work is you know how if you're watching on mobile or desktop, you can see the stream here, how it'll look like is instead of the main player, it'll show the actual Prime movie or video, whatever I choose. And then my face cam, if you're on mobile, below it, above the chat, or it'll be on the side if you're watching on desktop, I believe. So we could do that for weekend movies. We could just watch Prime movies or TV shows. Yeah, it would only be watchable for like, people who have an Amazon Prime. But you can always link your parents or whatever, or your friends. So if you guys like that idea, we can maybe start that in April. That way we can have like a weekend stream. I don't know. I'll t well, I'll ask again when we... Because usually we have more viewers or more unique viewers at the start of a stream. So I'll ask it then. But I know if I for sure want to do it for a segment on my birthday stream. Because, like, I have basically the whole plan outlined for my birthday stream, right? Because I have to fill 12 hours of stream. <laughs> um, but for, like, a two-hour window, I want to do a Prime Watch Along where I just pick a movie. But it'll be from, like, 9 till 11. So it'll be, like, the last two hours when I won't have many active viewers. Because most of my viewers are on the East Coast, so everybody's going to be in bed by 9 o'clock my time. We can all share a Prime account? I mean, that could work. Because with the Prime Watch Along function, I was able to link my Amazon Prime account to all, to my channel and then the art channel and then Meggy Sports because I want to do a test stream one night just to see how the VODs look like. Um, so yeah, we can see if you guys want to do it, we can do that on weekends occasionally. So yeah. 
Okay, I'm ending stream. I'm ending stream. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm sorry for ending early. I'm very tired. <laughs> um, yeah, I still had fun today. I feel like the chat banter was really good today. It was really fun. Mario Kart streams always go crazy. <laughs> but thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you to any chatters, lurkers. I know today was short. It felt kind of weird, but it was still fun. I hope you guys had fun too. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, bye bye, bye bye. Yeah, I I feel so bad. I I wanted to do a full stream, but I I couldn't. But you know what? I am respecting my boundaries. I'm not pushing myself. I am doing things in a healthy manner. It's not good to push yourself. Plus, I streamed for way too long on Friday, so I still have my regular stream hours. Because I'm at like 50 for the, month of, for the month of March. So, since I streamed 9 hours on Friday, it'll accommodate any hours I missed today. Smile. This banana bread is so dry, though. It's genuinely way too dry. <laughs> I will for sure do the Stardew Valley sub only later this week. I will try my best. Good night, sleepyhead. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go back to bed. <laughs> Bye, Keelan. Thank you for hanging out today, man. But I'm so excited for Mori tomorrow. Finally seeing what's happened. I mean, it's obvious that Mari, like... I think Mari unalived herself. That has to be it. But it'll be interesting to see how everything goes down. So look forward to that tomorrow, guys. I'll make sure to get rest today and try to get some adequate sleep tonight. That way I can be ready for tomorrow. Sorry, isn't this ending to this song epic? <laughs> also, if you're new here, follow the channel. If you've watched the whole stream or just a part of it, click follow. It's free. Hashtag free to follow. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.